Hey kids, it's Karen from Marfo Acrylics. Back for late night painting. Shh, gotta keep the noise down. Um, tonight I broke out my tried and true pouring medium recipe, which is the four ounces of water, eight ounces of golden color pouring medium gloss, and 12 ounces of Elmer's glue all. That's the pouring medium recipe, one to one ratio with the paint, water as needed for consistency. Um, I'm going to try, it's not quite a sandwich pour because I'm going to use a hell of a lot of gold, um, but I made a lot of white and a lot of gold and a whole bunch of baby colors. <laughs> and I have a beat up old canvas to practice on because that's what tonight is. And um, just real quick, a little story. This woman on Instagram I think her name was Jill, don't know her, total stranger, hit me up and said, hey, you want some flow trial? I'm like, sure, she goes, I live in the next town over. And so we met in a parking lot and she gifted me with three gallons of flow trial. Three gallons. So, I spent a couple hours watching Sarah Mac videos. <laughs> I think it's time for me to try to do a uh, straight pour, cloud pour, whatever you kind of pour you want to call it. Cause three gallons of flow troll, man. Anyway, that'll be next video. Let's play with the uh, try and true pouring medium tonight, shall we? Get you down, excuse the mess. This was scraped, it's an old canvas. I tried the same exact color scheme that you see before you. Um, and I had added black and it didn't, it was, it was not so pretty. So yeah, it's a goner. So colors real quick, real quick. I'm talking like I'm a Pugs Bunny or something. Uh, <laughs> PBO Studio Acrylics, this is iridescent gold. So you can see these are only three ounce cups and there's about two and a half ounces of paint. Um, mix, it was really two ounces of paint and uh, almost two ounces of pouring medium. This is more like three, three and a half. So there's the gold. And then the first baby blue we got up is Sky Blue by Amsterdam. The tube's empty. The next one is um, King's Blue. This is Queen's Pink. No, I'm making that up. It isn't. <laughs> it's Cornacridone. No, it's not. Yes, it is. <laughs> so silly today. Cornacridone Rose Light. And then the other baby pink is uh, Persian Rose in that one right there. So very light, light, soft colors. And then this right here is Amsterdam's um, Pearl Blue. And I plan to sandwich this Pearl Blue in between these two blues and maybe do something, hmm. Something like this, I think, will be the setup. I'm going to go ahead and add just a single drop of my spot on treadmill silicone in the colors, maybe two in the gold. Give those a quick little mix. I haven't done late night pouring in a while. I've been good. I've been um, getting up and doing my uh, painting in the mornings. But it's election day tomorrow, so my daughter doesn't have school. So I figured she and I would sleep in. All right. Just reusing some cups. Let's give the white. This is um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in white. Oh, consistency, barely a trace. I probably should have made things a little thicker. See how it disappears rather quickly? Yeah, I probably should have made that a little bit thicker, but next time, let's see what happens. So a lot of weight. And I'm gonna I'm basically gonna do a 
sandwich with mustard in on both slices of bread. So there's my white bread. There's my mustard. We're going to put the rest of our things. And we're just going to dump these cups because there's not much in here. So there's one. This cup holds them all. I didn't even think about that. The pearl blue. Three. Oh, yeah. Well, it'll be close, but let's see. Three. I just need room for the gold on top. Four. I have it all vision, envisioned in my mind, but you know how that goes. Oh yeah, plenty of room for the gold. And the pink. And then the gold. So there's my mustard again. Yeah, we're gonna put it all in. I should do these same colors with the um with the flow troll. What do you think? That might be interesting. And now some white. Whoa, that's a full cup. That's all the way to the tippy top. There's my sandwich. And, hmm. I need to find something to flip it. I'm not, hold on one second. I hate to walk away, but I have to. Just, you know, get something like this. I'm spilling it anyway. I'm out of gloves, too. They're coming in the mail tomorrow. think I think we lift straight up I'm not gonna drag it save some white to go around for the edges I love white and gold together I really do we ready to do this let's put this on the corners That's kind of what I wanted. Honest to God, I swear. I didn't want that thing, whatever that is. But that is pretty spot on with the gold. Just wipe out my cup. Put some more on this corner. I wonder if I need white around the edges. I if that puddle will make it. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So let's do this. Maybe a little bit over here just to help it travel. Seems like a lot of real estate. Right here, too. All right. Not going to torch yet. I really like this. So I'm going to go that way first. Get all that up there and then bring it down. And then we'll deal with this. This thing. Is that a bubble? Yep. Right there. All right, wish me luck. Yes. Kind of 
stair stepper way over there. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna might as well do this other corner if I can. Yep. I'm glad I used that white. Leave that there. Stuck into my cookie cutters. Got a whole beach thing going on. And now my gold is disappearing. Hold on. I don't like that on the end. I hope I don't. I'd rather stretch it out and just have baby cells. most boring painting ever <laughs> it's just one big blue and uh, let me see if I can get rid of this thing like I said I just it was going in two different directions so I hated it almost there hold on all right so boring <laughs> oh my goodness am I in frame well <laughs> let me scoop up a little of this and get my edges my corners wipe off my fingers before I grab a torch I see a bunch of gold cells popping up so that's good and like I said it did do the color blend I was expecting so Honest to God, if it just stays like that, I will get out my paintbrush and <laughs> paint a little umbrella for the girl with the drink in her hand. Because <laughs> that's what this is right now. Um, all right. I'm going to torch for bubbles because there's a bunch. And try not to over torch, which has been my habit because I'm rusty with the torch. I'll get a little closer. Let me turn this up higher. Oh, that turned it off. Oh, let's follow this line. And let's wait before we do more. Not getting really anything in here. This part here is going to be very interesting to me because I want to see if this turns the pearl blue. Because I can see it. That is not pure white. There is um, that pearl color is on top of that. I don't know if it, it's showing up on camera, but that's what this is. The sand. I don't like this one big giant cell. Now, I don't mind the little baby cells instead of having big ones because, you know, 
I toted so much. I'm just waiting to see how big they get. And maybe do a little more in here. And this is kind of cool. And there's like the lightest of light blue cells in here. They're kind of neat. Got some gold ones to pop up here. I think it's done. <laughs> it's my very blank beach scene. This will be one. Um, please reserve judgment for this one until it's dry. I'm going to go ahead and post this and I'll post the dried results in another video. Um, only because I think it could get very interesting when this changes color. Yeah. I really don't think I can tilt it or anything else because I tilted the living bleep out of it already. I don't know, I kind of like it in its simplicity. It's kind of growing on me. Let me see if it moves at all. If I can get anything to grow. I don't know if I want anything to grow. I think I want it just the way it is. Yep, I'm gonna say ta-da. Ta-da! Yep. Yep. I'm I'm happy because the way the paint came out of the cup was what I was expecting. I was not expecting this painting, but the um the color blend. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do use that color combo when I do a um, cloud pour, right? That'd be kind of pretty. So let me wipe off my fingers, get you guys down. And uh, yeah. Maybe I'm just uh, subconsciously dreaming about summertime because I hate winter. I hate being cold. I hate it being dark. I hate the wind. The only thing I like about winter is the sky. Winter skies are the bomb. But otherwise, not my favorite. All right, let me see if I can just drop this down like this and get a little, there we get it all in frame. I know it's upside down for you guys, obviously. Uh, and if I loosen this, In this one I can come down so there are the cells so not terribly big or anything they're smaller that's from the tilting not from the thickness of the paint just because I tilted it all but they're cute they're nice ones they're not blurry or anything they're just all little babies and then like I said let me tilt this forward this is not white you can see the white parts the rest of it is that pearl blue color, which should, when it dries, will darken into a blue. So we'll see what it does. Like I said, it's kind of pretty in its simplicity. So that's it for my <laughs> under 20 minutes. Uh, yep, gotta clean up, go to bed all happy. Thanks for watching and supporting. And uh, if you're new, please consider subscribing if you like what you see. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. It's Karen. I'm back with the dried results. Uh, this is what it looks like. I'm going to call it my concrete beach. I think I like it. I think I do. Uh, it's serene looking. Part of me is undecided because I feel like it needs something else. Maybe an embellishment. Maybe I leave it like it is. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think because um, I'm very, very much on the fence. So let me know what you think in the comments. Let me get you in a little closer. I'm bummed out because this pearl blue here did not really change or add anything. It's not very pearly. 
<laughs> it's just, uh, yeah, I'm disappointed in the pearl blue for sure. I do like the little speckles and the cells. And I do love the fade up into the blue. That part I'm really happy with. And then very, look at these cells up here. Very, very fun. Cells everywhere. I knew that they would be small from all the uh, tilting. There's no paint left to grow cells, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know what to think. Let me know. See you soon. Bye-bye.